Hey y'all, it's your girl Nye. I am back. Um, back from where y'all wouldn't know. Um, <laughs> I just haven't been recording. Honestly, I just have not been recording recently. And today I woke up in such a good mood, and I decided, baby girl, it's time to tap back in. Tap 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 tap. Tap back in to what makes you feel good. And um, today is Memorial Day, actually. Shout out to Topicals. I love these eye patches. They're amazing. And honestly, I need them after the weekend I just had. I had the pleasure of going back home this weekend. So I went back to Oakland, the Bay Area. Shout out to the yays. Shout out to all my folks from the yay area. Um... I didn't go for Memorial Day purposes. I really went because my grandma turned 100 years old this month. Incredible, right? Um, yeah, such a blessing. So I was not gonna miss out on any way, shape or form that we would be selling, celebrating her and her big accomplishments. So um, yeah, I flew back home for a nice little lunch at Olive Gardens to celebrate my grandmother. And it was just such the gentle reminder to just be present and available for those that you truly do care about, no matter how big or small the occasion may feel, right? Um, it was just great seeing her as well as my family and um, just spending time and getting to catch up with one another. And it was great to see everyone um, doing well. So that made me feel absolutely incredible while i was out there i also had the pleasure of spending time with my cousin asia she allowed me to stay with her this was like our first time really getting to connect as adults honestly um we actually went out on friday night that shit was so much fun um, we went bar hopping in the downtown Hayward area. Everybody was super chill. Had a good ass time. A lot of love was shown. Uh, that's what my weekend has been. Oh, so I don't know if I've touched on the topic of um, my relationship or lack there of relationship with my parents, but uh, I did actually see my mom who is someone that I've actually been no contact with for quite a bit of time, but I always make sure to show love when I do go out to the bay, we did stop by to see her. And um, it was such an eye opener for me because like I came in with open loving spirit, but I've also realized like, if you're not in people's lives the way that they want you to be, there will always naturally be like this feeling of like, I don't know. I don't wanna say hostility, but like she like, makes me feel as if like I have not forgiven her and like that I hold some animosity when I speak to her or when we talk and I realize like I actually don't do that at all. When you set clear boundaries with people and um, they're so used to you being a certain way, so open, so loving, so, you know, and when you have to create those boundaries um, to protect yourselves due to their negligence of you know, their own he healing and growth, um, you'll always come across as the bad guy. <laughs> I'm just like learning to accept that. But this, uh, that experience really showed me like the outcome of boundaries. And a lot of the times it's just a lack of satisfaction from the other party because you're not showing up in a way that they either feel most comfortable or would want you to because of how you may have been in the past but um i'm learning to like totally accept this and be okay with it um, i have to deal with it a lot within my day-to-day -day, just living with my dad and our lack of relationship with my mom it's a little different with the whole no contact factor you know why i still say shout out to me because despite how everything may have been in regards to our relationship i still find it within me to show love and that's what i did and i did it to the capacity that i am capable of doing it and showing up for her and i'm totally okay with that usually i would like feel bad about these things but i am so uh, proud of myself and my growth 
and my ability to not harbor any hard feelings and truly understand that I am in such a great place in life that I could still have love for those who are incapable of showing up for me how I am deserving and um baby that's a superpower that is a flex right there okay i'm feeling so fulfilled in love within myself from the love that i'm able to provide myself and from those who surround me who are showing it in such a pure and organic manner and that's enough for me that's totally enough i never i i never will continue to harper on those who choose not to show up for me in the way that I'm deserving. I really do allow myself to have, show them grace and um, have grace for myself, for what I chose to deal with at one point in my life and really just be so proud of the way that I'm able to, you know, um, set them boundaries, baby. It's such a, it's such a huge thing for me. It really is. As a former people pleaser, just wanted everyone to love and accept and like me. Um, it feels really good to know that the, that from others is no longer the validation that I'm seeking and that I'm truly able to be fulfilled from the love of self, the love of God, and the love of those who truly are here in my life to reflect that love right back so shout out to me thank god for me <laughs> oh my gosh i'm feeling incredible i think i woke up really just embracing that energy right now um in multiple factors in my life and just boundaries and disconnecting and um learning that at the end of the day all is truly working in my favor um, despite how I may feel or come across in that moment. So I just allow the healing to happen. I just allow, um, I allow myself to surrender. Surrender has actually been my word, uh, this entire weekend. I just kept telling myself, just surrender, surrender to your emotions, surrender to, um, what are you needing to do? Surrender to God. Allow God to step in and make the the move 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 things around, move people around, make those necessary adjustments. Um, that I just feel just kind of overwhelmed with. I don't I don't have to do everything, and I don't have to initiate everything. I am truly fully trusting of the universe and God to make those necessary changes and i'm just sitting back baby i'm truly surrendering to the circumstances that i have no control of and i just choose to do what makes me feel best in the meantime and today that is getting my self-care on okay um that is just taking care of me um it's just one of those seasons it's me season it's always a me season, but I love when I'm able to acknowledge when it is truly time to pour into myself after continuously pouring into those um, surrounding me. So that's what we do doing today on this Memorial Day. Yeah, but I'm just feeling really good right now. Things are totally different than what I expected, but I'm like, the opportunities are just like flowing in already from just being in a place of surrendering and letting go and just i'm so open to what's new and what is truly meant to be and um praise god this is taking me a while to get here like a long long time trust me this is not this has not been a um easy process i'm just so grateful to understand um when change is needed transition is needed and not to succumb to the fear of the unknown but to fully embrace and surrender to god and just being trusting that it's all working out for me <gasps> better than i could have ever imagined like oh my gosh the blessings the shocking the uh it always happens like that. It's just like, oh, I cannot believe that things happened even better than I had 
originally envisioned it for me like i truly feel like this summer is about to be incredible okay like an incredible incredible summer i feel it i feel like so much is going to happen for me and um, i'm gonna be exactly where it is that i want to be very soon i'm already feeling that way or in my just in my being so i know my reality will soon fit that and um i'm just so happy to be back in this state of mind y'all don't understand like it (laughs) uh it is so crazy but i feel like for a while i had to just kind of step out live life take risk and it's just happy to i'm just so happy to reconnect and get back close to source and get back close to myself ultimately and yeah this shit is just a cycle it's a process anyways i just realize i've been rambling for 60 minutes but i kind of miss y'all i miss the camera i miss just talking out how i'm feeling right now so just happy to be back in that state of mind and um happy to show y'all more moving forward yeah i've just been having fun I'm just in a fun era right now. I just know the fun is going to bring me right to where I need to be. So I'm going to go along with that. Just vibing. Just vibing. (laughs) Anyways, I'm going to chill. I'm going to continue to chill in my bed. I'm about to order me some food. I have not ate yet. And I will connect with you guys when I feel called to. Bye. Alright, let me go somewhere. Oh god, that's perfect lighting. Hello! What's up, everyone? It is Friday, May 31st. It is literally the last day of the month, and I really cannot believe May is over just like that. Just like that, beach. Half of the year is gone and i feel like i am just getting on my two feet for real anyways it's friday it's my off day the weekend has begun it's a beautiful day outside and the only thing i've really wanted to do lately is go to the mall by myself and just have a girly self-care day okay so i plan to go to raw sushi which is one of my favorite sushi restaurants give me a good old um bento box for their lunch special so i need to hurry up and get there before that lunch ends and then um i have a pickup actually at nordstrom's for these desi frames i've really been wanting but i wasn't quite sure if i would they're kind of big so i wasn't quite sure how i would feel about them but luckily nordstrom had them for pickup available for today so i'm gonna go pick those up Hopefully, I love them just as much as I think. I'll be copping those. And I need to do this, go to Sephora. Sorry, I know I'm chewing this gum. I need to go to Sephora, do a little perusing in there. There's a couple things on my list. Um, Honestly, this is my last little shopping adventure because I'm doing a no-buy for the next three months. Yeah, I'm doing a no-buy for the next three months because I've been spending way too much money, um, to be honest. I think that is just something that I do out of comfort when bitch I'm depressed, sad, not feeling my best, right? And in order to get out of that, I've realized the patterns need to just end and I need to start addressing these emotions that I'm feeling instead of coping, which I tend to do with shopping. And I know I'm not alone with that one. I see plenty of content out there with women and even men saying the same thing, consumerism, Got a hold on a lot of us, and honestly, I'm ready to just take my power back and just focus my energy into something that's way more productive and beneficial for me in the long run because I can't bring all this shit with me when I'm gone, right? So, more memories instead, just like getting out there, creating memories, doing things, getting active, addressing my emotions, doing my daily practices for me to feel my best, you know? So... It was gum is like hold on a second. Gum is like disintegrating. That's so nasty. Anyways, so that's what we're doing. Um, I'm actually waiting on my Uber right now. I think yeah, they have actually pulled up. So real quick, here is the fit. 
ignore the shit on the flow. If you see it, I'm just wearing this little skim fit, a uh, little two piece. And hair looking cute. Makeup on minimal. I didn't have my lashes done, so I did add a little, you know, extras at the end for a little wing effect. And I'm feeling really cute. So I will check in with you guys when I get there. Bye. Hair go long like Chia, money go long like Nia. I ain't in the big idea. My twins big like Tia, my twins big like Tia Tamara. Why Tia Tamara? Why Tia Tamara? Why Tia Tamara? Hair go long like Chia, money go long like Nia. I ain't in the big idea. My twins big like Tia, my twins big like Tia Tamara. Why Tia Tamara? Why Tia Tamara? Why Tia Let me open it for you. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Cute. 